In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the engine air filter on your 2011 to 2014 Hyundai Sonata. And I'll show you what a clean filter looks like compared to a dirty filter. And you don't need any tools for this, so let's get started. Open the driver's side door. Right there, where the driver's left side foot goes, there's the hood release lever there, the sign on it. Pull it. Now in front of the vehicle, right on top of that Hyundai emblem there, put your hand in there and pull it up. And the hood just opens up and it's supported by those two rods over there. That's one and that's two. Now once the hood is open, let's locate the engine air filter housing. That's where it is. And the way to get it out is just undo those two clips like that. Just pull them. Pry open that cover over there with one hand and then pull the filter out with the other. It's simple as that. Now let's take a look at that dirty filter that just came out. And that thing looks nasty. Looks clogged. There's all kinds of contaminants in the engine filter now. Now that's the filtered side which looks clean, which it should be. Because that's where the filter because air only goes through it once it's filtered. That's the unfiltered side which is dirty as it should be. Now let me hold that filter up against some sunlight and see what it looks like. There's no light going through it. That's a quick check to know if the filter is too dirty or not. Now let's compare it against a clean filter. Now that is nice. There's light going through it, looks clean. So I just put this filter on like a couple hours ago and drove the car around and you can see even with just two hours of driving it's already starting to pick up some contaminants. It's very important to have a filter in place, a clean filter in place because otherwise all that contaminants will be going in your engine and that's not good at all. So you should be replacing your filter every 12,000 miles or 20,000 kilometers and that's the filter code for the one I got. I mean you don't have to use this brand, you can use any other brand filter as well as long as it's the right size. Now let's put that new clean filter inside again just open up that housing cover with one hand and slide the new filter inside it's the exact same size as the old one so it should fit right in snug make sure you, that rubber seal over there is not getting squished it should be completely inside the housing now the way to put the clips back on this is an easy way just do exactly as I'm doing put the clip on and then press it with your thumb put the clip on and press it done and that's it Let's close the hood now, just bring it down and then slam it shut, that's it.